Mike File. I'm a product marketing manager for Juniper Networks out of Sunnyvale, California. We're going to do a real demo. So we're not, we're not going to fake this. We're actually going to show you real traffic going through the SRX series products. You're probably wondering what an SRX is. I'm going to cover that. So the SRX is a series of products that range from the SRX 5800 down to the SRX 100. The SRX 5800 is the world's fastest firewall. The SRX uh, 3000 series is a mid-level product and then the branch products. When you scale from the SRX 650 down to the 100, really you get different types of physical uh, functionality and it's different modularity. When we look at the, uh, the features that are on it, this is really the exciting part. So it's a full router and switch. So the Juno's operating system runs on it, OSPF, BGP, multicast, IPv6. If you look at switching, we take the EX series Ethernet switch features, and we also have that on the SRXs. Full VPN, we don't talk much about the VPN because it's built in and it's encrypted. It's just expected that it's already there. The exciting part is the security. So in terms of the firewall performance and the IPS, we're going to show that to you. So full IPS, antivirus, anti-spam, and web filtering. So if you don't have $1.4 million, what you can do is you can deploy an SRX series for the branch, $16,000. If you need something smaller, we scale down to $29.99, and even smaller, down to almost $1,000, and then sub $1,000. So what we have is Juno's operating system running all the way from the highest end, fastest product, all the way down to the, the smallest product for the smallest branch. And this has all the, it can run the exact same configuration on the highest product as the smallest product. In terms of performance, we've got 7 gigabits of performance on the SRX 650 in terms of firewall. What firewall is, 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 is interesting, but the more interesting part is the 900 megabits of IPS. And Farben will take us through the actual configuration and can answer your technical question. Thanks, Mike. Hi, folks. So today we're going to demo the IDP throughput on the SRX 650 chassis. Uh, this box can do 900 megabits per second of full IPS traffic. And the traffic is stateful. And we do the standard NSS test which is the 44K, we take a 44K HTTP file and we do gets on that. And just to make this better than the standard NSS test, we pass real world attacks to this box. And we see to that that when we have the legitimate traffic gets through the box and the attacks have to get blocked. And this is while doing the maximum throughput on the box. And what is great about this box is that the numbers we quote are really under the most stressful conditions this box is in. So we have less stressful traffic, we have stateless traffic, the IPS numbers are really seven times what we quote on our data sheet. And the other great thing about the Genoas box is configuring IPS is very, very simple. As a lot of admins know, configuring IPS is a very hard task. You've got to tweak your config a lot. The Juniper box has a great feature in which you can download these IPS templates, which is there on the Juniper website. Just with a single CLI command or with a click on our web UI, you can download all these configs. And you can tweak that config so that you can go and tweak it to what your network really needs. And I'm going to hand it over to Mike, who's going to run the demo, and we can see what throughput we got, and we can see the attacks we block. Thanks. Let me step over here and uh, kick off this test. Now, I'm with Breaking Point. I'm the product manager for the Elite. And what we do is network traffic generation. And I actually had the privilege of running against the SRX 5800, which is the big brother of this, fam of this family of products. And this is actually my first chance to actually run against the, uh, the branch level products. So basically we've got our test running. Uh, we click over here to the summary tab. And we'll be able to see our application statistics. So that's important because we're running stateful application traffic through this box. This is not UDP packet blasting. This is actual HTTP traffic. So over here in the middle section, we've got our TCP rates, uh, both the rate, the cumulative statistics, as well as some statistics down at the bottom about you know, time to synact, the duration of the session, things like that. Then on the right-hand side, you can see the kicker is actually the throughput, you know, 900 megabits of, uh, of application traffic while we have security strikes going through it. And for that price uh, of this product, that sort of performance is pretty amazing. So let me click over back over here to the tax tab. What we'll be able to see is we're, we're running a breaking point strike level one, which is uh, lots of typical exploits you would see on any typical network. Uh, there's some Microsoft uh, exploits, Microsoft Tuesday vulnerabilities, things like that. You can see it's actually blocked all of the attacks, uh, and we're not seeing uh, any allowed or any aired. These are all uh, attacks that are getting blocked, and it's uh, detecting them while it's allowing the uh, application traffic to pass at 900 megabits.